Colorado and Colorado State. Colorado State is a home dog of 7.5 points, total of 58.5, 6.30 p.m. Central Time on CBS. That's right, big time CBS, because why not? It's Coach Prime. Why not? Uh, my stats tend to lean Colorado State. However, I don't think Colorado State is good. Like, I, I think... I don't, I don't feel like they are going to be able to take advantage of any of the weaknesses of Colorado. Right? You look at Colorado, and number 109 in offensive line yards, number 80 in stuff rate, number 70 in standard downs PPA, like all these different things. Uh, I don't think... I don't think this Colorado State defense can slow those down. And I I know that they're running the ball like six almost sixty percent of the time. And yeah, they're number thirteen in rushing success is zero. But you, you look at offensive line yards, they're number fifty eight. Colorado's defense is number fifty nine. Stuff rate allowed, they're number one eleven. Uh, Colorado's defense is number one oh five. Look at I think that you really needed to be able to throw the football. And Colorado State has not been able to thus far. I think Colorado might put it on them. So I hate this thing is still at seven and a half because I kind of thought, I kind of thought that we were, man, I'm really back and forth on this. <laughs> um, the power rating here has got Colorado by significantly more, but the fact that this is a, uh, a home game for Colorado State at night on CBS. I mean, we just saw Hawaii do this with UCLA. It, has Colorado State been saving stuff up for this one because of the way that things went down last year in Boulder? I mean, you you all remember how that thing went. Uh, Scotty said this really should be a blowout for the Buffs. It should be. But, I mean, my God, I've, I've talked about the fact that home dogs have already hit at a 70% clip through week two. And there's not been a bunch of them. This is certainly one of them. And this is a team that took them to overtime last year. And Colorado State was not very good last year, and I don't think Colorado is very good this year. What does that offensive line do after Shadur threw him under the bus again? Right? I mean, it, he just keeps going into these press conferences and doing the same damn thing. Where he's, well, how many times did Rayola get hit? Like, well, why are we talking about that? Like, my God, like, yeah, we understand that that your team overall did not play very well. Like, don't do this whole blame game crap. Uh, I get so weird. You know, I'm going to take a stand. Colorado State plus seven and a half. Why not? Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.